Hi and welcome to this short video on the Simcro Securus 2mm bottle mount injector. Quite a unique injector, obviously with the needle guard um, which is used for subcutaneous injections. The spikes here grab the hide forming a tent so we can simply do single handed injection. Quickly demonstrate how it works because it does have a unique mode of action that you may not be used to. We're approaching the animal, we're going to inject it. First step is pull the trigger. And you notice when you pull the trigger the handle can't close. So you pull the trigger, so you've got a nice grip there. Approach the animal and as we grab the hide, you'll notice that the needle guard is retracted. Once that is fully retracted and the needle is fully engaged in the animal, then we can inject. So it's one, two, three. Again, one, fully in, two, fully in, three, inject. Priming this injector also has its um, own technique. Um, one of the key areas is, with priming this is we don't use the needle when we're priming it because we need to pull that needle, back, needle guard back. Obviously exposes the needle. Two more fixed, obviously so that's fixed as well. Take our bottle we're gonna use. Take a needle, we pierce the bung. Needle goes into our shafts. We always dispose of that as best practice, just in case there's some bung stuck in the needle. Then take our bottle, and we're going to stick this into the bottle mount fix fixture there, which is what we call a quick attach. Basically, the first thing we do is make sure that's in the unlock position, which it is. You see it clicks to lock to unlock, clearly labelled there. We take the bottle in the palm of the hand, something like that. Place the bung over the spike, into the hole that we've made with our needle. Pushing that on firmly, using the palm of the hand to hold the bottle in place. We click the bottle mount attachment to the lock position. To prime, we then follow our steps again, which I talked about earlier. So one, this time instead of Pressing to the animal, obviously we have to retract that by hand. So fully retract that, and then obviously the handle is free. You can pump that through to bring the product through. And then holding it up, we just simply push the air out of the barrel, and now the injector is ready to use. So then obviously we need to put our needle in. So we grab our needle and our sheath, in through the hole, half a turn, and the injector's ready to use. To remove the needle again, reverse process, straight in, half a turn, and out. So needle in, half a turn, and out. And again, if you have a needle that's not sheathed, we can do that as well. So simply we go through the process here, we turn it up, button there to, for the needle guard, we press that down, needle guard comes off, we take our unsheathed needle, place it over the end, and using pliers or whatever you use, half twist that on, needle guard, clicks back into place. Finally in this video, I'm just going to show you really simply how to clean this injector. Really, really easy. Obviously we've, we've removed the bottle, the needle, and dispelled all the product from the barrel so there's no product in there. Simply grab some soapy water. Uh, and this can be done in a bucket, clean bucket, um, a barrel, uh, hand basin, just whatever you have. Nice clean soapy water. Simply just drop the product in there with the injector. Push the needle guard back, obviously follow our steps, one, two, one, two, three, and we just pump the product through there. And that just runs hot soapy water, warm soapy water through the system and cleans everything out. And then obviously, final step is just to get everything out of there. And we can dry that, leave that to dry, and um, it's ready to use next time. There is a little bit of maintenance we can also do on, on this injector. 
Um, there's a little o-ring inside the barrel there which is obviously pretty key when you're um, you know, pushing the product through that helps that plunger slide nicely through the barrel so we want to keep that nice and lubricated so we simply remove the needle guard and to take the barrel off using this nut here we simply unscrew that removing that barrel and that o-ring there um, just for maintenance pays to just put a little drop of vegetable oil on the top of that o-ring and obviously we'll absorb that and that just keeps it nice and lubricated so when it's running up and down the barrel it moves easily and we don't have that friction you know, after a prolonged period you might want to replace that o-ring we do supply a spare so with a pair of tweezers or even with your fingers <laughs> this is a little bit fiddly just roll that o-ring off the end and roll the new one on and then obviously a barrel goes back on in the reverse format so simply just pop that on nice and square and we use our nut just to tighten that up and we keep that nice and clean and ready to use next time